Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Blaze and Brandy. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Blaze's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and very little motivation that is needed when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six-foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You're going to be introduced to that training equipment and taught how to use it properly during your follow-up training session. Now Blaze is sitting very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you, which is probably one of the most important ones for you, is proper healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Blaze heal. Now at this point Blaze has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when he's walking. So when you're in the campground walking with him, and you stop to talk to somebody, he should sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So make sure that when you're walking him, that he's under control, that his shoulders are next to your left leg, that he's not pulling you down the street, that he looks like he's well-mannered, and each time that you stop your feet, that he's sitting automatically without being told to wait for his next command. Now, if he doesn't sit, you saw Brandy give that little tug on the leash as a reminder to him that whatever it is you're doing is incorrect. And I've been out here with him for 15 minutes and he's been sitting every time. So occasionally you may have to reinforce it. This time, Brandy's going to leave him in a sit stay. She's going to use her left open palm an inch or so from his muzzle and the one word command to stay. The sit stay should be for one minute working up to three minutes. And when you start practicing, I would start practicing at home rather than at the campground so that when you go to the campground, you feel confident. When Brandy returns back to him, she walks all the way around him counterclockwise and he knows to remain seated until he gets his next command. And they're gonna take off healing again. Everything with him is about self-control, focus, maturity, the ability to pay attention to commands. So that you can go on a nice leisurely walk through the campground and he knows exactly what to do. Brandy's going to leave him in another sit-stay. She's going to walk out to the end of her leash. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the recall. The recall is the come on command. Blaze come. come is the command and he is to come back and he's supposed to sit. There you go. Brandy heals him right out of that. And believe me, what we've learned about this dog is that if he wants to mess with you, he will. So you have to work him through it. You can't give up and you have to make sure that he knows that you're in control. Comes right in, that time he came right in and sat the way he was supposed to. And then he goes back to heel and back sitting. Good. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are our series of down commands. And one thing about Blaze is that he can be guns blazing, but he also tires quickly. So working with him in obedience is just as tiring to him as bailing hay. <laughs> now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay you can practice right indoors. You should work up slowly to five minute long down stay. When Brandy returns back to him she walks all the way around him returning all the way back to his shoulders. 
And she heals him out of that. And you have to be firm with Blaze because he has made us look like a real idiot at times. So be firm. Don't, don't be, uh, you know, he's very sweet and he's very cute, but he has to know that you're in charge. And Brandy has worked her butt off with him. She returns back to him. When she gets back to his shoulders, she's going to give him another stay and she's going to call him. So each time you return to his shoulders, you have to give him another command. This time she'll call him out of that. Sometimes he returns back to heal on his own and that's fine, but as long as he's sitting. And the last command that we're going to be demonstrating for you today is you're down from a distance. So he has to be sitting first, leave him in a stay, you turn to face him, you're going to use your right hand to give the command and drop him into a down from a distance. And you can tell just in the amount of time that we've done this video and the short amount of time that Brandy worked with him before we started that he's already tired and it's getting warm out, so that's gonna even tire him more quickly. So we've demonstrated for you all of Blaze's formal on-leash obedience commands. We have started some off-leash for you as well, some intermediate training that Brandy will be going over with you. I'm gonna to talk to you about what day you should come to get him. We have enjoyed every minute of Blaze and we're looking forward to your graduation. We will see you very soon and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.